Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and Becky, our doe number 17, gave birth to quads yesterday. So I did end up separating her babies from her shortly after she gave birth to them. Uh, there was one baby that was just super, super little, um, super weak. So I knew that she wasn't going to be able to stand up on her feet. It actually took her about four hours before that little doe stood up on her feet finally. Um, but she would have ended up just dying. I did need the colostrum from Becky and since I had to separate the one little doling, I didn't want to leave her alone um, and we separate anyway. So I did just take all four of the kids, um, milked out Becky and then gave them the colostrum. So they're, they're all doing really good. Uh, so let's go meet the kids. So this was adorable baby number one. He kind of came out just a head and a hoof and it was the first baby. He was the biggest baby. Um, so she did, there was a little bit of issues. Now with Becky's labor, I just decided I wanted to, I just wanted to sit back. I didn't want to be all up in her business the whole time. I wanted her to be comfortable and not nervous and worried. And she did pretty well with me sitting in the pen just on the far end. Um, definitely not like the rest of my does that want me right there petting them and lay their head in my lap and things like that. But again, I wanted to make sure in case something did happen, I was there. So for instance, this little guy, his sack had already um, busted um, and, and his head just kind of came out. And he was struggling for air, so I hurried up and he was just still in the canal. Um, and trying to trying to get air so I did just get the towel and I cleaned his mouth out and just kind of helped her along with him and he came out um, super healthy she started cleaning him off and she did she did pretty good with with this one so this is a little boy and of course he's horn and he ended up with brown eyes so there was the potential for moon spots because of legend and then also um, blue eyes because of Becky this guy is eating really, really good. He's hungry again, aren't you? Here, Midzer. He's a pretty hostile little dude. Good job. He didn't end up with any moon spots from his dad, but. Oof. Now I still do have colostrum. Becky had a ton of colostrum. She actually made a lot. Her udder was full. Um, so I'm still just continuing to give them the colostrum. I milked her out this morning as well. And there was some milk starting to, to come in, but uh, it was still very yellow. So you can tell it's still a lot of colostrum. So I saved that for him also. He's a good eater, this boy. Oh, he's going to eat it all. Oh, he's just starving. <laughs> That's a good boy. All right, he ate a good amount. So what I want to do is have them outside. Um, you know, I don't want them necessarily in with the big kids. He would probably be just fine. He would be just fine. Um, but there is still that, the little, little one that's kind of weak and I don't want her to be by herself. But I do want them out in the sunshine and to get some fresh air. So I think that's really good for them. So we are gonna just section them off into this area over here. You wanna come? All right, we're gonna go get your siblings. Yes, I know. There you go. Introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is the loud mouth here. This was number two. And she, she's a little doe, so we finally got a little legend doe, which is awesome. But she came out with no issues whatsoever. She did really, really good. She is precious and she is blue eyed. She didn't didn't get any moon spots, 
but uh, just very, very colorful. Very, just the gold and the white. So she's adorable with her little blue eyes. Of course, we're wanting some of this blood, so we are gonna keep her. She's the only one I've had to really, really struggle to get her um, to take a bottle, and she's still yet to actually take it really good. She'll suckle for like five seconds, but that's all she'll give you, it's, and it's after her fighting you. So let's try it. I'm hoping she's hungry enough to finally. I thought she was gonna do better than that, but that's good. That's that's improvement. I know. So I've been doing this a lot with her today, trying to just get her to latch on really good, but this is kind of what she does. Got it for five seconds. She's a stubborn one. I know. Got it? So even like this, they're getting something down their throat. You just keep trying and trying. Eventually she will latch on. Well, she did latch on, you guys saw that, but just not very aggressively like I would like. Yeah? Throughout the day, just continually gonna try to feed her. and milk. All right, girl. She's a stubborn one. So I'll try again here, you know, in a little while and I'll just continue to keep trying. As long as she's getting something down her throat and she's a, uh, yeah, a little stinker. And even holding her, you know, it's like she's not really wanting to be held, which Whatever, she's brand new. So even holding her and getting her used to you is going to help with that and she'll latch on for us. She just wants a little extra attention to get her to, to get her to do it. You want to go in there with your brother? There you go. And here we have baby number three. Um, she actually, Becky was pushing, 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 and then all of a sudden something was coming out, and I was like, what in the world? How is this baby coming out? I almost thought it was deformed. Um, just turns out she was folded, so her back came out. Um, she, was, she was like this, and her back came out. Um, but she passed her, obviously, because she's so, so little. Um, but anyway, so I, you know, was helping her, trying to get her to breathe, and she was really struggling to breathe, and, and and just struggling all around. So she was just laying down. She was trying to get up, like gave it, but by trying to get up, it was kind of like she was just shaking. Um, so I was really worried about her, but she's totally doing awesome now. And she took right, right to the bottle. And you're hungry, aren't you? Yeah. So it didn't take her any time. So she's just awesome. She's a little doll. Another tiny one though. And another girl. So that's two girls for legend. Huh, and she's got blue eyes. No moon spots from her daddy. Now this little tiny thing doesn't take too much at first. Is that good? Now all of these kids are, are horned. Um, there was no possibility for pulled or anything. And she is blue eyed um, and I am keeping her too because again, our main goal, we want to get rid of the crazies or sell them to new homes um, and we want their blood, which was my whole intention a year ago um, when I purchased them. I want that blood mixed in with mine. So yes, we plan to keep this dough and of course the other one too. You want to try one more time? This one had me worried because I didn't know. I was like, man, maybe she's just the way she was shaking and not getting up and stuff. And again, it took like four hours before she finally got up. She's covered in milk. Oh, 
I think you're done for now. Okay. She's just so tiny. She's got her voice though, don't ya? She's still a little, little weak. I don't want to drop her. There you go. But just doing awesome, really. Check her out. So this is the little girl that Becky would have definitely left um, for dead. And not even being her fault necessarily, but she had three super healthy kids. And uh, this one, again, within four hours, it, it just would not have stood up. It took her that long to stand up after I had fed her colostrum. Um, and if they go four hours with, I mean, she just would have been a goner, so. She's doing really good right now. And this little cutie is number four. He's also a loud mouth, like number two. Huh. And this is a little buck. He's actually pretty darn cute. He's pretty healthy. He's got a little bit of mass to him, and he is just a fluff ball. That's cute. He's so soft. He eats pretty good, too. Let's see. He didn't give any issues coming out either. He did an awesome job. He has got blue eyes. And again, he's horned. They're, they're all horned. So as far as the two bucks are concerned, I do not plan on retaining the bucks. Um, I already have six bucks that I only wanted five. Um, but last year we had two really, really cool ones. So um, definitely not going to. I'm gonna hold out a little bit before I actually post them for sale. Um, if I do decide to sell them, they will be um, available to the notification list, the people on the list first, and then just go to the website if, if nobody there buys them. But they should, I mean, honestly, I'm just going to, again, keep an eye on them and see how they develop, because they're still pretty fresh. Um, I do love Becky's udder as far as she, she makes a lot of milk. Um, she's very, very dairy skin. She's not my favorite udder in the herd, but she's, you know, she's definitely got, got a decent udder. Um, which is why I'm retaining the kids, and then, of course, Legend to, to back these kids. So, Legend is an awesome, awesome buck that comes from Lacey. So, they should make some really good herd sires. But again, I haven't posted them yet. But this guy is super cute. So, they're all doing really, really well. Um, they will come in again tonight, but for the day, I just want them to be able to play outside and again, get some sunshine and get some fresh air, be able to see the other little baby goats. So there is the kids from, from doe number 17. Now we got two more to go um, and I gotta get going because Ruby is in labor. See you guys again soon. Well look, you get to play. Have some room to bounce. What do you think? Hi. Look at her, she's so little. Oh, stinker. Hi.